products are designed as a whole, not just the individual components. This translates in CAD as the ability to easily edit parts at an assembly level. Here we have a solid edge assembly of a custom pulley system where we want to make changes to the width to fit a wider belt. Of course this means editing several components. First we'll approach this as you would in most any other CAD system using history based editing. Then we'll take a look at how synchronous technology can help us out. So history based first and let's start with the pulley itself for the initial edit. Notice the list on the left, this is the history based recipe of features that make up this part. It can be tricky finding which feature is the one that we want to edit, however Solid Edge does assist us by picking up the relevant feature after we click on the model in the graphics area. So let's take this 35mm dimension and change that to 55mm. Simple. Oh no, wait, because this is history based editing there are dependent features further down the tree on the left that this has caused issues with, damaging our model. So we need to go back and work out how we can make our desired width change another way. It turns out that we need to make multiple edits to not very obvious features in a particular order. OK, done. So back at the assembly level, obviously the wheel is now wider which means it's interfering with the other components and we have some internal parts to deal with too. Now to modify these we could continue using a history based approach, editing each individual part, however this is time consuming as you've seen. We could set up links between the parts so that a change in one part updates another, however this too takes time. We want something instant that doesn't have the overhead of interlinking. So let's turn to synchronous technology. First notice we're staying at the assembly level. From here we can simply pick a face and drag to edit. And Solid Edge is intelligent enough to know that this is a symmetrical part, so we probably want to keep it as such. But ideally we want to make several edits at the same time. Let's see how this works by selecting multiple faces from multiple parts. Here we can modify not just one, or two, or even three, but let's edit four, five, and six different aspects from four individual parts. And still, Solid Edge is automatically seeing that this design is symmetrical, so actually it's doing double these edits for us. And also, notice how everything else is changing sensibly. Tangent relations and wall thicknesses, for example, are all being maintained. That's what we mean by one-shot multi-part editing. Another way to make one-shot multi-part edits is by aligning faces. Again, all at the assembly level. Let's take the back side of these brackets and align those together. Nice and easy, just click the first face from one part, and the second face from the other part, and done. We could even take this a step further by asking Solid Edge to find all of those coplanar faces that we've just been working with, and then get those snapped to this back face here. Just as easy, done. So there you have it. No more in and out of each part with multiple time-consuming history-based edits, or even the need to interlink. Synchronous technology in Solid Edge allows one-shot, multi-part editing, all at the assembly level. Solid Edge, design better. Thank <laughs> you.